Hi guys, this is Avinash Sharma and in this session we will discuss the DEX function is filtered and the is cross filtered. Before we start the practical of the is filter and the is cross filter, first of all we check the types of the filters, three types, direct, indirect and the cross filter. Direct means when you apply a filter directly on the table or column that is called the direct filter. Indirect filter means like you apply a filter on a column but other columns or columns of the other tables are affected then that is called the indirect table indirect filter cross filter cross filters it's not a filter basically it's a function that change the direction of the relationship you have the multiple tables and you establish the relationship between the multiple tables say many to many or one to many and sometimes you need to change the direction of those relationship then you can use the cross filter. First of all, we check the data. So we have the four tables, dim city. In city, we have the city ID or city code, then city name. In second table, dim product. Then product ID, BK, say bike, CA for car. And fact sales, we have the we have the product ID and the city ID. And then sales it, then the next sales. It means this product has been sold in this city on this date and this figure then fact sales another branch in another pro uh, branch only the product product id is there these are the product id then these are the dates and the sales amount so these are the four tables now we check the relationship between this table already we uploaded so we have the four table dim product dim city and the fact sales in the fact sales we have the reference of both table dim product and the dim city that's why we have the one to many and one to many from this table relationship but in the fact reseller we have only the product id that's why we have the relationship between dim product product and the fact reseller but in fact reseller and the dim city there is no relationship now first of all we check the is filtered function that function returns a boolean value true or false it checks whether a direct filter is applied on the table or column. If it is, then it returns as true, otherwise false. Now we will check how to use the is filtered function practically. So first of all, we take a table. In this table, say we take city name and then sales and we create measure. is city filter that is the name of measure then is filtered and city so we are just checking whether city name has a direct filter so we create this one now we drag and drop this filter in this table so we can see true 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 because this table is having a column name that is the city name so we have a direct filter on the city name now we have another measure that is the product if we check is filtered then product name so if we drag this field the measure in this table the value of this false because in this table we are referring city name so city name is having the direct filter that's why we have the value of this measure is city filter true true and for the product is the false false suppose rather than city if i say remove city name and use product name now city filter is false and the product filter is true because the on the product is this, this table we have a direct filter but if I take slicer and slicer say I take city name and if I filter the data says for Delhi Jaipur 
or Lucknow. So you can observe the data are also being changed. This is called the indirect filter. Because we are selecting the select the value from the city, but other columns, the value of the other columns are being affected. So this is called the indirect filter. Next we check is cross filter. This function checks whether cross filter is applied or not. If it is applied, then it will uh, return to otherwise false. Now we check the use of the is cross filtered function practically. So we have a table and we have taken the city name and the net sales and we have another table that is the factory seller. This table is having the product ID. So if we check the relationship, we are taking the data from this table, say other sales, because we want to analyze how many sales of the product for the particular city. Right now, in this table, fact reseller and the dim city, there is no relation. So, if I take the data from this table, say other sales, so I am not getting the correct data. Because if we check again, dim city and fact resellers, this data is not getting filtered because there is no relationship. If I change the relationship, right now it is one to many from city to this one and then product to fact sales one to many. If I change this relation say one to many and then this relation if works together from uh, for both sides so one to many and then this one one to many from left to right and right to left then we can reach this table. In that case we will get the right data. So first of all we create a measure. Now is cross filter product and is cross filter then product name. So we have a measure and we drag this one then we have the value false. It means in this table or in this relation there is no cross filter. So how to apply the cross filter? If we go to this one relationship and because we have to change this relationship one to many then we have to make again from one to many this side. So select this relationship properties and then say it both both side it should work in the both side then okay so if you observe then we have two arrow downward and upward it means this relationship will work in the both side now if we check the data again so we have now correct data and the value of this measure is the true true because now we have applied the cross filter on the tables so this is how we can check the is filtered or is cross filtered function. So guys, this was all about the is filtered and is cross filtered that function. Thanks for watching the video.